You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. The options market can be a confusing place. Sorting through the daily avalanche of data, alerts, updates, articles, and analysis to find the most important information is an overwhelming prospect. But now you have help. Welcome to the Options News Rundown, the only program that breaks through the noise to bring you the most important news and information from the world of options. Every day, we bring you the top five option stories curated by the options experts at theoptionsinsider.com, the premier source for options information. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by leveltradingfield.com the online communication, research, and quantitative platform with the largest collection of financial tools for traders, including the innovative Bitcoin Market Predictor. The Bitcoin Market Predictor is a simple prediction game where 10 people place bets on the future price of Bitcoin, and the top three most accurate predictions wins. Sign up at leveltradingfield.com with promo code INSIDER. The Options News Rundown is also brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in options trading education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one-week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's Live Advantage Group coaching class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider. And now it's time to break through the noise. It's time for your Options News Rundown. Good morning. Today is Friday, December 21st, 2018. This is your Options News Rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli. Our first story today is from Investing.com. It's the top five things to know in the market on Friday. First thing to know is the threat of a U.S. government shutdown is in focus. Although the U.S. House of Representatives passed a temporary funding measure on Thursday that included funding for the proposed southern border wall, odds were low that the Senate would give its approval, causing fears that an agreement would not be reached to avoid a government shutdown ahead of Friday's midnight deadline. The House passed a bill to keep the government running until February 8th, but the Senate, which convenes at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, would likely shoot down the proposal precisely because of the more than $5 billion in funding for the wall. The Senate had approved a bill to keep the government running, but U.S. President Donald Trump refused to sign it because it lacked funding for border security. Any measure that funds the government must include border security, Trump insisted. If temporary funding is not approved, nine government departments, including Homeland Security, will close ahead of the Christmas holiday, according to Bloomberg. The second thing to know today is global stocks drop on growth fears, imminent U.S. and the imminent U.S. government shutdown. Global stocks continue to sharp sell-off on Friday as global growth concerns and pending closure of U.S. government continues to weigh on a risk appetite. The third thing to know today is U.S data deluge is to keep investors on their toes. Although many traders are packing up for the holidays, there's a wave of economic data coming out ahead of the break. The Commerce Department will report on durable goods orders for November at at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. On average, economists expect that orders for long-lasting goods rose 1.6% last month, and that core durable goods orders, which exclude autos, rose 0.3%. The final measure of third quarter GDP will also be released at that time, with forecasts for it to stay at its previous estimate at an annual growth rate of 3.5%. Fourth thing to know today is Nike jumps 8% as as results beat consensus. Bullish signs are few and far between, but Nike's strong earnings after Thursday's close could provide the market some buying optimism. 
Nike recorded a fiscal profit for the second quarter of 52 cents per share on sales of $9.4 billion. That topped estimates for earnings of 46 cents a share and sales of $9.17 or not, excuse me, $9.17 billion. Gross margin came in at 43.8%, beating guidance of 43.5%. And the fifth thing to know today is oil heads for a weekly decline of 10%. Overnight gains evaporated in early morning trade on Friday as oil prices extended a sharp weekly decline. U.S. crude oil futures lost 35 cents or 0.76% to $45.53 by 6.03 a.m. Eastern Time, while Brent oil traded down 70 cents or 1.29% to $53.65. Crude had received a boost from news that OPEC was planning to release individual quotas for its production cut, showing Saudi Arabia would reduce more than expected. The buying interest faded in early morning trade, falling further from their peak in October as concerns over oil demand increased because of a slowing global economy and signs of oversupply. Our second story today is from Investing.com. U.S. regulators increase crypto market scrutiny. Will clarity follow? With cryptocurrencies having been mired in bear markets for the better part of 2018, alt currency investors were desperately hoping the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission might find its way to approving a Bitcoin ETF sometime soon. The hope, of course, is that such a move would inject some life as well as additional legitimacy into the digital asset class. The U.S. regulatory agency dashed investors' hopes in late August when it rejected nine Bitcoin ETF proposals, including applications from ProShares, Direction, and the long-suffering Winklevoss twins, Cameron and Tyler, who've already endured multiple such denials. Less than a month ago, the SEC reaffirmed that near-term approval of, of the Bitcoin ETF remains elusive, when its chairman Jay Clayton confirmed that in the very near term, approval for a Bitcoin ETF wasn't likely, citing lack of adequate crypto market surveillance. Our final story today is from uh, Investing.com as well. Ford is recalling 874,000 pickup trucks in North America for fire risks. Ford Motor Company said on Friday it's recalling 874,000 pickup trucks in North America with engine block heaters for fire risks. The second largest U.S. automaker said the recall covers some 2015 to 2019 Ford F-150 trucks along with the 2017 to 2019 Ford F-250 Super Duty, F-350 Super Duty, F-450 Super Duty, and F-550 Super Duty pickup trucks. Ford said water and contaminants may get into the block heater cables splice connector, causing corrosion and damage to potentially lead to a fire. Ford told U.S. regulators it is aware of reports of three fires in Canada linked to the issue, but unaware of any reports of accidents or injuries. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is news you can use for today, Friday, December 21st, 2018, your options news rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli, Trade Smarts, and have a great weekend. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by LevelTradingField.com, the online communication, research, and quantitative platform with the largest collection of financial tools for traders, including the innovative Bitcoin Market Predictor. The Bitcoin Market Predictor is a simple prediction game where 10 people place bets on the future price of Bitcoin, and the top three most accurate predictions wins. Sign up at leveltradingfield.com with promo code INSIDER. The Options News Rundown is also brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in options trading education. 
Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one-week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's Live Advantage Group coaching class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider. The preceding program was a production of the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash the Options Insider or via questions at theoptionsinsider.com. 